Jerry, another bland and boring afternoon here, Boxing Day. <laughs> well, that was incredible, wasn't it? It was. No, so enjoyable, honestly. We said we had our troubles before the game, you know, with two players unfortunately going down this morning. It's not what you want as a manager on Boxing Day morning is to wake up and then Jack's obviously got a back spasm. Elliot's struggling with his... Um, he's got looks like he's got tonsillitis. Didn't look well at all when he turned up. I think I've had to change the system three times even before the game. So I talked it through with a few of the lads and... Um, I thought the 4-3-3 worked ever so well, actually. I thought it was important that we tried to block out their central midfield areas. Um, I thought the boys done it magnificently. Obviously, it gives you a foot, foot up when you're going score from a, from a set piece. Great delivery from Joe, two assists for the first ones for him. And um, really pleasing, really pleasing header from Jordan Dyer because we've been creating those opportunities from set pieces, not quite been able to put them away. Um, yeah. And I just think the character of the team, obviously when you go down to 10 men, they've got to show character. But before that, we were at this point at halftime not to score more goals, actually. Um, I thought actually Chippen and come out and started to play some good football, start the second half. Um, and credit to them, it was difficult to play against them then for a spell. Um, but then we got on top of it and um, yeah, we saw out the game really well. Not saw it out, we put the foot on the gas and scored some really good goals. The shape defensively when you do go down to 10 men, I thought it was incredible. Uh, to get the fourth goal, the energy you got going up the slope as well and you're breaking away clear through when you were probably defending 40-odd yards or so from your own goal and it was incredible just to wrap it up like that. And we had a few moments like that, didn't we? I, I think special mention there for Tom. You know, he looks looks at it again, looks on his game. Um, we do a lot of high-speed running in training as well on Tuesday nights, so credit to Aaron, who's our sports scientist. Works hard. I thought the fitness levels were exemplary. Tells you that the group looked after themselves over, over Christmas as well. Um, I thought Omar's goal from, goal from Joe's cross, great third man run. I thought, I thought Omar Holness was magnificent today, I have to say. Take away his goal. I think he started on the front foot. He's had to go through some troubled personal times, um, which I've helped him out with and the club have helped him out with, so no one's more pleased than myself to see Omar go out there, enjoy his football and put in such a strong performance. And of course, it was right across the board then. We've, we've had to go to the back four, as I said. I thought they were magnificent, all the young lads in there as well with Eddie. And um, yeah, and a, and a good midfield three as well. And we wanted to keep the three up the top if we could. I thought Dave looked dangerous all day. Um, Alex, obviously, with Cody. And then we've got players now who can come on. The fourth goal epitomises it because Dylan wins the tackle, gives it to Tom Smith. Tom Smith drives up the pitch and Cody finishes with real calmness in a 1v1. So, um, yeah, you can't, you can't take away the fact that we've, we've been well-deserved winners in that game. Um, nothing better than a manager seeing your team working so, so hard to try and win a game of football. Meant a lot to us as a local derby. Chippenham have been in very, very good form. Top of the form guide for the last six games. But to come here and score four is um, no mean feat. I think the statistics on things like blocks, midfield battles and things like that are going to be heavily in your favour and it made such a huge difference. It's happening even with 10 men as yeah. well. They were really putting their bodies on the yeah. line. I can remember one Callum Wood actually on the edge of the 18-yard box going down the slope here, put his body on the line. You, like you rightly say, they're having to move up the pitch because we can't put pressure on because we haven't got enough bodies at the top. So when the ball goes backwards, we're trying to get them out five yards. Work, works really, really well. It's drilled into them and they, they looked a good unit today. Um, and I said, we're going to score a lot of goals against the team sooner rather than later. We said it against Hungerford, we should have done. We said it against Ebsfleet for the first 40 minutes, we should have done. And like I said, to come against Chippenham, who, look, they're in a better position than us in the league. They've had a better season than us today in the league. But to come here and score four goals in a local derby, um, like I said, is, is ever so pleasing. What we have to do now is rest up, make sure we get the recoveries right. We've got a few in there that are feeling it a little bit. Um, and, um, and look forward to the game on Sunday next week at our place. How grateful are you that you're the odd team out and haven't got a game on Tuesday? Is that nice? Or did you want to build on the momentum, maybe? It is nice now, with what I've had to deal with today. Um, honestly, I said to them, they'll put me to an early grave because you keep getting these Friday night calls or these morning calls. But it is what it is. You have to manage it as a manager. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful now, actually. We need, we, need, we need the week. We need the week to get a few back. Joe's suffering from a bit of illness. Um, I thought he was great in the point as well. But all of them right way through, I don't, you know... I, I often say afterwards, I don't want to single out people. I know I have, but it was a terrific team performance. And I have to say from my staff as well, fantastic. They've stayed right on it over Christmas. We've been in contact. We had to come up with a game plan, as I said, it literally two o'clock today. So a lot of thought went into it, a lot of changes. We've had to change the set pieces around. So that's pleasing that we got an opener with that. And um, people find it tough to play against Chippenham. They're a, they're a good side. They've got some good energy, good quality. And like I said, the start of the second half, they show what a good outfit they are. So credit to Mike. I've got a lot of respect for Mike. I think he's a good manager. He's had to, he's had a budget cut here and he's had to deal with his squad and a few of the senior ones are gone. He's got some younger ones in and they do it the right way. So um, 
I think that's a that's a fantastic, fantastic message from us and a and a performance, but also a result that's been coming for a number of weeks. A very different type of Chippenham team as well. Like I say, they brought in some loans. You are now unbeaten against them in seven games, and uh, that must be extra pleasing for you. I did mention that in the dressing room. <laughs> I do enjoy playing against Chippenham. Um, I've always enjoyed local derbies as a player, and I, like I said, I, I love the discipline of Christmas time. Anyway, if you look at our team over the last four years, I think if you look around the Christmas period. I think our results will be more positive than negative, and that says a lot about my group. It says that we get the training sessions right. It says they look after themselves on Christmas Day. Christmas Day for a non-league player is not easy because there is sacrifices you have to make, but what they've shown is they've done that and turned up today and look fitter, look stronger than the team we played against um, and come out to deserve winners. Thank you for playing your part in a wonderful day this afternoon. No, cheers, Mark. Cheers. Thanks, mate.